Yo, what is up guys, Flair here, today we got episode 31 of my my career shooting guard for the Philadelphia 76ers. We are back here in game 2 as we lost game 1 at home, which is kind of sad, to these Detroit Pistons. We've got to come back and try and even this series up before we head to Detroit. So yeah, this is round 1, game 2 of the playoffs. Rookie season, it'd be great to go get a championship. The team has the potential to do it, but sometimes they slip up like they did in game 1. But we're determined come out and show the real team today and now we're getting ready for this tip off gotta get this game underway trying to we gotta start off strong if we want to get this w that's one thing that we struggle with is getting a good start and that's how we lose games if we let the other team pull away in the first quarter but today is a new day new game let's go <clears throat> starting off at three-point line driving to the bucket pass it down no, we don't. <laughs> and I get the dunk and one. They call it goaltending. Sorry for the bad start off the commentary. I kind of messed up. It's kind of hard to see the preview. But I do get the and one. Nice dunk there to start off the game. <laughs> and now at the three-point line, getting that bucket. Nice job right there. And here's trying to set the pick for Curry. He passes out to me. Open space for a mid-range, and it's good. Eight points already. Tayshawn Prince is going to pass it here. I get the steal. Go be going on a fast break. I pass it up to Stephen Curry, who passes it to Thaddeus Young, who scores. So my steal leads to points. Nice job there. Now Byron passes out to me at the top. They double team. See what I got? I have a wide open teammate, but I have a wide open lane as well, and I get the beautiful dunk, 89 intensity meter. And now we're going to see uh, the my bench was going crazy as I get another or my first assist of the game to Andrew Bynum who gets the dunk and here playing some defense Bynum with the rebound off to me on the fast break and I lob it to Thaddeus Young who throws it down hard I, I just lobbed it from the three-point line that's turned and walked down to the defensive end because I knew he would finish she did a nice replay there and now Turner gonna shoot he misses and I get my first rebound of the game on the offensive side and go back up and score nice job there with the put back really doing a good job so far as we do have a nice lead and now I'm going in with the easy layup on the fast break getting them points now we got the mid-range jumper and it's good nice job there getting open space easy so far and now we get double team find Spencer Hawes and he gets that mid-range to go getting assist as well as points and now we get the pass from Richardson and he, we give it back to him and he makes that three nice job right there finding an open teammate and we are trying to pull away early and now trying to get to the basket can't do it pass it to Richardson for another three nice job finding them once again getting these assists and we do have the 10 point lead going into the second quarter good job so far good start like I said we need to do and let's try and take this momentum into the second quarter let's go and here getting the pass from Thaddeus Young wide open for three you can't leave me that open and it's cash here now we're trying to get to the basket once again we pass it to Thaddeus Young and he gives us a nice pass and I get the dunk as you will see the replay here and that was just a nice pass by him as I cut back door and I get the easy dunk and here I'm going to get a rebound on the defensive end and now playing some offense pick and roll and I go in dunk it right in the middle of the whole Pistons defense no one stepped up and that was just too easy but as you see that replay they just are too scared when I'm running to the, to the basket. Here, Ivy with the ball. I cut back door. Look at that lob. And I, like, hit the ball in, as you'll see the replay here. As Look at this. I basically just hit the ball, and it went in, and it gave me the points. That was pretty nice. Never seen that before, but okay. Two points is two points. All right. See what we got here. And I pass it to Ivy, and he hits the three, which is kind of unusual, but gives us the assist. And here, I forced a miss by Brandon Knight, and I'm out on the break, and I will spin and get the layup. The three Pistons defenders there don't matter. Easy points. I'm just too good. Now, running down the shot clock, set back for three, and hit it right in Richard Jefferson's face. That gives us a 20-point lead, and they will have to call a timeout. Now pick and roll, I get two of them. Wide open lane, you know what's about to happen. Slam dunk. Nice. Get the respite slam cam, and there's just no one there. Only 44 on the intensity, but that's a pretty nice slam. Showing my emotion. 
getting that nice dunk for the fans. Only 106 on a crowd intensity meter. All right, now you see we'll be going into halftime with the 13 point lead. I have played 22 minutes thus far with 32 points, three rebounds, and six assists. Shooting 60%, that's good, and just one turnover. So, yeah, doing pretty good. And let's get into this halftime report. And that does it for the first half of play. 76ers lead by 13. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, brought to you by Sprint. What unbelievable postseason action we've got going on so far. This is 2K Sports as we get deeper into round one of the playoffs. Out in the city of brotherly love, the 76ers with the lead against Detroit. A win today would even things up in this series. Red Hot having himself a big time game. He's absolutely exploded, racking up the points, and his two-way play has been good. Very active on the defensive side of the floor, bothering shots and bringing that energy all over the court. For the Pistons, though, it's not the same story. Missed free throws all too common thus far. You have to be able to punish a team for fouling you. Tough start for Brandon Knight. The shot, I'm sorry, it's been atrocious. Nothing's falling. And now we have to check out results from yesterday's pick and win. It doesn't get better than this, folks. A perfect score. All right, Curry bringing the ball up. I'm wide open for three. Where is Stucky? He fell asleep. And that three's cash. Good way to start off this second second half. You know, we, we're going to tie this series up. And we get a nice pass from Bynum under the hoop. And we are able to draw the foul. Be going to the line for two. And you know these are automatic for me as I hit the first. And the second free throw will be up. And that is good as well. So there we go. Trying to, we're making this lead even bigger. And here, Stephen Curry with the ball. I run over behind him, get the open mid long two. And I <laughs> now we're all by ourselves on the fast break with the nasty slam. That was nice. And look at this again, all alone, another nasty tomahawk slam. And this time we get the replay. It was just two easy dunks, wide open lane on the fast break, and they just can't stop me. And my teammates, you know, they're stepping up this game, playing a lot better than the game one. And here, we, uh, we're we going to set the screen, and then he get, uh, Curry gives it to us, and we have a nice lane and the tomahawk jam. Why'd you even get in the way? Now you're in the poster. Rodney Stucky, he didn't even learn today. And now we're on the fast break once again, another dunk. It, we're just getting dunk after dunk, and I don't know why they're getting in the way. They're just making posters as I pull up for the short jumper right there. It gives us a, another 20-point lead. And now Curry, with, there's a nice defensive play there. Curry to me, another dunk. There was no defense there. And I hang on the rim, talk some trash on the way down. This is just too easy, getting dunk after dunk, like I said. And here, I'm going to find Bynum, who will get that bucket to give me another assist and see what we can do now and I have another easy layup it's just there's no defense they can't stop me and now Curry passes it to me and I find Turner for the dunk that's another assist for me and you'll see the replay here nice pass finding my teammate real really quickly after getting that pass from Curry and now I find Turner once again on the fast break and he scores to give me yeah another assist that's nine for us now and they and here they sub me out for the last five minutes of the game that's okay because we won by 23 i had 37 minutes 53 points three rebounds nine assists i just won one assist away i wish i could have stayed in to get that double double shot 57 percent this game had four turnovers and yeah that's gonna be it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe check out uh game one if you missed it and be looking out for game three coming out later this week all right hope you enjoyed have a nice day peace the 76ers winning this one easily. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you add? That'll do it for now for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in to the Eastern Conference quarterfinals here on 2K Sports.
Now let's check out our Jordan player of the game. Take me away. I've been bad with before Eminem and Jay Z laying hands on Renegade. I'm just being honest. What? No Lambo, no doors go up. Just me and my niggas on the corner with a little bit of liquor pour in our cup. Ha, we reaching game. We might not reach the fame, but we got stories. So I'm saying, can someone please explain how I lost the game? Cause I feel alive, but I know that I ain't. And, and deep inside, I just ain't the same. I'm starting to see that. So clever, they want us walking around like we know no better. So our biggest worry is a polo sweater, and then we'll fall asleep next to that cold, cold shepherd. But I'ma be the one to wake us all up. I know y'all be waiting on us. I know y'all debating my flow, cause I got one the haters can't touch. I feel like my take is on E. Just damn shit. I'm sure the team would have liked to have taken both games at home, but now you find yourself tied 1 1 and about to hit the road. How are you feeling about the series at this point? Yeah, you're right. It would have been nice to get both of these games at home, but we're still in good shape. This team's got the mental toughness to take a game or even two on the road, so don't count us out yet, man. We've come too far to let it slip away now. It looks like it's going to be a long series, so we're just gearing ourselves up for the next battle, you feel me? I just wanna tell you before I fall